there is no uh, EEO officer at this particular time. So uh, you have to follow Rule 99 of uh, House Rules. And within that, we're trying to establish a way in which to balance the confidentiality of uh, a potential complaint. And, uh, the, uh, and I think what this order does is allow for an executive order, uh, executive summary to be released. It allows the person uh, who the accusation is made against to be, have an opportunity to review it. And it allows to make sure that those records are maintained just as they would be if there was an EEO officer, uh, make sure that they're held confidentially. There was no mechanism for those things to occur. Um, and having it at the legal counsel's office until that such time as we have an EEO officer, that's where uh, we will then be able to have the opportunity to give it to them. So that order just gives us the direction as to uh, what would happen in those stages where we don't have an EEO officer. Okay, so thank the you. The investigation is complete. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Is the investigation complete? I would say stay tuned. For that. Mr. Speaker, good to see you, Mr. Speaker. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I brought a cake for you. I'll bring it up there.